When it rains, it pours and less than 24 hours ago, the streets of the coastal empire looking very different than they do now. In fact, they weren't even visible. Now local leaders and property owners speaking to their personal experience and what you need to know when Mother Nature rears her ugly head. We know that wherever you are, if there's a lot of rain over a short period of time, it's going to flood. 4.2 inches of rainfall for the city of Savannah in a seven day period, according to Savannah Mayor Van Johnson. Certain areas receiving 3.4 to 4.2 inches per hour and coupled with the high tide, the city's drainage system running into backup issues. So we're talking about a significant amount of uh, water uh, in a very short period of time. That coming to a head on Monday night around 5 o'clock. According to Mayor Johnson, areas like Ardsley Park and Victory Drive getting hit hard with a maximum intensity rate of four inches of rain an hour. Viewers sending news three videos of extreme flooding in those areas, cars stranded and roads not visible. Richard Brown owns two properties in the area. One of them he rents out for profit and says storms such as these impact his livelihood. First thing I did was once they opened it up, uh, at the highway up was to be able to see the damage that was done on my rental property. Because if the rental property is damaged, I can't rent it. If it's one thing he recommends to home and rental owners, it's having flood insurance. Well, if you do this when the flood happens, you may not be able to get coverage. There could be a 30 day waiting period as well. So it's good to plan this ahead of time. Uh, while you still have time for the coverage. With 16 stormwater projects, Mayor Johnson says the city is doing all it can to save lives and prevent property damage. So we continue to put millions of dollars uh, in the ground uh, to be able to address this issue, understanding we will never be able to fully solve this issue in the climate in which we live in. Now, as for property damage, the mayor recommends making sure that flood insurance is up to date. And if you don't have some, get some now. Reporting in Savannah, Kaylee Fedco, WSAV News 3 on your side.